Hopefully that's a good sign for Casey. <laughs> Maybe because, something different, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, usually they're up at halftime, and, and we all know how things have ended, um, and it hasn't been good. So hopefully a change of pace means a change in the win column for Case, and we'll know that in about, well, about 45 minutes. We are just underway here in the second half of play. Carnegie Mellon with the basketball to start the second half. Lot pass inside to Terrence Bolden Johnson. He missed the shot, and then he was picked up a foul in the backcourt. And that'll be third. I was getting ready to say his fourth, but they took him out right away in the first half when he picked up two quick half uh, fouls and didn't play much after that. So Case will have the basketball. They're down five. It's 39-34, just underway here at Adelbert Gymnasium in the second half. Inside, right block, Tom Summers shot up, missed. But Eric Doerr comes up with the follow on the left side, puts it up and in. He's got nine points. Quickly down the floor, Carnegie Mellon works O'Rourke, top of the key to Terrence Bolden Johnson, swings it to Jack Anderson in front of that Carnegie Mellon bench. Now Einwag in the left corner, ball above his head, lost his dribble to Rife, swings it right side, O'Rourke dribbles in, draws it out, dishes it out to Anderson, Anderson brings it out between the circles. 14 on the shot clock, Einwag with it, over to Anderson. Jack thinks about a three, ball fakes, dribbles right, puts up a shot, missed it. Tom Summers down with the rebound for Case. Summers off to Young. Young down to Reed Anderson. Dribbles to the foul line. Gets cut off by Rife. And the foul will go against Case. Get Reed Anderson for the charge. Two fouls on Reed Anderson. That is the first team foul on Case in the second half. And the Tartans will have the basketball. Thirty-nine, thirty-six. Case down three, Ryan Einwag with the basketball for Carnegie Mellon. Led the club with 16 points in the first half. Bolden Johnson with it, right corner back to Einwag. Top of the key to O'Rourke, dribbles to the foul line, dishes it left side, Jack Anderson. 10 on the shot clock, O'Rourke swings it to Einwag, ball above his head, right wing. Left hand dribble to the foul line, out to O'Rourke, left wing three, it's short. Reed Anderson tipping along with Tom Summers. Summers comes up with it, down to Steve Young. Young against O'Rourke. And O'Rourke fouled him on the shot. Young went up for the layup. O'Rourke went up and over and fouled Steve Young. And Case doing nice work on the defensive end in that 2-3 zone, forcing Carnegie Mellon to use most of the shot clock and then shoot from outside. With the rebound, the Spartans were able to get out and run. Steve Young at the foul line, his first attempts of the afternoon. First one's up and it's good. Steve, a 78% free throw shooter, the 6'2 senior from St. Louis, Missouri. Second free throw is up and this one is also good. So Young's got four points on the afternoon, two from the field, two from the foul line. Case is within one on a mini 4-0 run here to start the second half. It's 39-38, Carnegie Mellon. Tartans with the basketball. O'Rourke off to Einwag, left corner. Three in the air, it's short. And Reed Anderson comes down with a rebound. Off to Herring. Herring quickly down the floor. Dishes it out to Young. Three from the left corner. Rolls around and won't drop. And Shane Rife comes down with a rebound. Rife off to O'Rourke. O'Rourke dribbles into the lane, kicks it over to Einwag, shot off the glass, and it's good. Ryan Einwag with 18. Reed Anderson the other way for Case. Between the circles now to Kevin Herring. Herring with a right-hand dribble, right side, try to get it into Summers. Reif grabbed him, and Shane Reif will pick up a foul. That will be his third. Four players with three fouls for Carnegie Mellon. It's Anderson, Johnson, Bolden, Reif, and John During. Inbound pass to Doerr. Sets a screen for Reed Anderson. Reed throws up a three, missed it. And coming down with the rebound is Terrence Bolden Johnson. He came right into the outstretched hands of Tom Summers, and Tom's going to pick up a foul. That will be his third. And Eric Doerr also four case with three fouls, so the tally marks are going to begin to pick up here, Ron, in the second half. Case down three, 41-38, 17-15 left to play in the basketball game. Doubleheader today. The ladies game will follow the men's game at approximately 2 o'clock. O'Rourke dribbles into the lane, dishes it out to Einwag, shot up, went in, popped back out, and Summers down with a rebound. Off to Reed Anderson, left wing, pulls up his dribble. The trailer is young, swings it to Herring. Herring ball fake left, dribbles right, pass behind his back to Doer, right elbow. Doer ball above his head over to Reed Anderson. Reed Anderson, left-hand dribble, charge. Reed pushed off Jack Anderson, and they're going to get Reed for his third foul. Well, you are right, Ed. The fouls are just piling up. And now guys know that 
whistles are being called, you're going to see a lot of them on the floor. They're going to have the NBA style or mentality of flopping at some point. So Reed Anderson will take a seat on the bench. The 6'6 sophomore from Avon Lakes on the bench with eight first half points. Checking into the game is Brian Erse. Erse checks in with eight first half points. O'Rourke with it for Carnegie Mellon. To the foul line, kicks it left side to Einwag, back to O'Rourke, left hand dribble. Pass to the right wing to Jack Anderson against Urs. Inside to Bolden Johnson against Doerr. Doerr with three fouls, standing straight up. Johnson missed the shot, but he got the loose ball follow up and in. Tom Summers couldn't control it on the first miss. Ball rolled away, and Johnson picked it up. Bolden Johnson with four, and the lead is back to five, which is where it was at at halftime. Carnegie Mellon up 43-38. 16-08 left to play in the basketball game. Whistle away from the ball. Fouls on Carnegie Mellon, and the foul will go on Corey O'Rourke. That is his third. With seven total whistles here in the first three minutes and 53 seconds. Inbounds pass to Kevin Herring. Case with some work to do, down five. Kevin spots up three top of the key and hits it. Kevin Herring with his 32nd three of the season. He's got eight points. Almost nonchalant as he spotted up for the three. Bolden Johnson in the Rife, working against Doerr. Rife missed the shot. Johnson got the rebound, though. Back up off the rim, rolled around, didn't go. Herring down with the rebound. Kevin Herring quickly down the floor, right corner. Pulls up his dribble. Top of the key to Erse. Erse with Jack Anderson on him. Brian Erse, left-hand dribble, left of the lane. Ball fake into Summers. Summers left block, right-handed hook. Almost an air ball. Terrence Bolden Johnson comes down with it. Off to Jack Anderson. Anderson down the floor, Herring chasing. Anderson off to Einwag, got someone to go up in the air. It was Tom Summers, and then like the smart basketball player, went right up into him, shot the layup, made it, and he was fouled. That'll be four on Summers. Einwag with 20 points. He'll look for 21 at the line where he was two of three this afternoon already. Ryan Einwag, a 6'5", senior forward out of Pittsburgh. Will no doubt be rooting for the Steelers later this afternoon in the Super Bowl. Missed the free throw. 2 of 4 from the line this afternoon. Here comes Case. It is 45-41. Case is down 4. Erst dribbles in the lane. Throws up a right-handed layup shot that missed in some traffic. Brian Erst stole the ball from Curtis the other way. Here comes Case. And Erst runs over Einwag. And they're going to call a blocking foul on Ryan Einwag. So Einwag picks up his second. Team foul number four for Carnegie Mellon. Got some perspiration on the floor, so the officials are trying to mop that up. 15 minutes left to play in this basketball game. Case trying to get their third win in University Athletic Association play. We are cleaned up and ready to go. Urs will inbound it for Case. Kicks it out to Steve Young, left wing. Swings it right side to Kevin Herring with Curtis on him. Herring now back to the left wing with Brian Urs. Urs ball above his head. A left block to Doerr. Doerr working in the lane against Bolden Johnson. And Eric Doerr hits a turnaround eight-footer. Doerr's got 11. Case is down 2, 45, 14-40 left to play. Defensively, neither big man can really do anything. With the three fouls each, they're being very conservative in the paint. Jack Anderson dribbles in, puts up a shot left side, missed it. Doerr got the rebound, but Jack Curtis stole the pass. Off to Jack Anderson. Anderson, reverse layup, fouled by Brian Erse. Foul number two on Erse. And at the line to shoot two will be Jack Anderson. <laughs> at the line this afternoon, Carnegie Mellon, 7 of 13. 54% from the foul line. Jack Anderson's first shot's up, and it's good. Jack Anderson's first points, Ed, of the basketball game. He came into this game averaging 15 points. Leading the team in scoring. Eight times in 17 games he had been the top scorer on the team. He made them both, both free throws. And the lead is back to four. It's 47-43, Carnegie Mellon. Herring gets a screen, 
to Erse. Erse kicks it into Doerr, working against Bolden Johnson. Doerr, a couple of ball fakes, keeps his pivot foot, and they're going to call him for three seconds. Eric got inside the key and couldn't get out, couldn't get a shot off, couldn't get a pass off, and they'll turn it over. Throwback weekend here at Adelbert Gymnasium on the campus of Case. The men dressed in brown and white this afternoon honoring the Case Institute of Technology, the Rough Riders. Three in the air by Jack Anderson for Carnegie Mellon from the right side, missed it. Doerr down with a rebound off to Erse. Alex Hildebrand swings it left side. Kevin Herring, and they needed it. Herring hit a three. Case is down a point. It's 47-46. Kevin Herring with two threes in the second half. He's got 11. Doring with it. John Doring between the circles for Carnegie Mellon. Jack Anderson left corner. Shots up in the air. It was an air ball. Brian Erst down with the rebound. Erst quickly clears the floor. Down the floor to Alex Hildebrandt. Wild pass. Alex controls it. Went up for a shot from the right side and picking up his fourth foul was Terrence Bolden Johnson. And Hildebrand showed some aggressiveness there, Ron, going to the basket, challenging Johnson and forcing Johnson to make some kind of move, either to, to lay off or to be aggressive and go for the ball. Got Hildebrand on the body. Alex Hildebrand at the foul line. First one's up and it's good. Alex on the season, just a 46% free throw shooter. 6'4", sophomore out of St. Vincent St. Mary High School in Akron. Rob Pearson checks in for Terrence Bolden Johnson, so they switch big men on the Carnegie Mellon side. And Skuski checks in for Eric Doerr for Case. Second free throw is up and missed by Hildebrandt. Game's tied at 47, 13-13 left to play. Einweg with it, 20 points with it. Left wing, threes in the air, missed it. Reed Anderson down with a rebound. Anderson for Case, clears it to Erse. Erse crosses half court. Back to Anderson between the circles, swing it to Alex Hildebrandt. The cutter is Herring. Herring gets the pass and the layup, and it's good. Kevin Herring with 13, Case up two. Carnegie Mellon quickly down the floor inside to Shane Reif. Left-handed hook was missed. Ball's loose on the floor, out of bounds. And it will stay with Carnegie Mellon. Spartans have put six quick up and have taken a two-point lead. Elliot Curtis will inbound it from <coughs> the Carnegie Mellon bench, knocks it into Ryan Einwag, his teammate. Einwag, right hand dribble looking right side. John Doring has it. To the foul line, Rob Pearson, 15-footer. Side of the rim won't go. Reed Anderson fights for the rebound, ties it up. And comes down the floor to Brian Erse. Here comes Case. Erse, right baseline, draws the defense, dishes it out to Hildebrandt, swings at the Herring. Herring in the lane, left-handed scoop, up off the glass, won't go. Pearson fights for it, Skuski fights for it, and Rob Pearson comes down with it. Pearson and Carnegie Mellon, Elliot Curtis now with the basketball in his tartan socks. Curtis, left side to Einwag, draws the defense, kicks it out to During, back to Curtis. Feet inside to Pearson, in the lane, out to Curtis, gets a screen. Tried to get it over to Doring. Ball was tied up by Alex Hildebrandt, and a whistle and a foul. Foul will be on John Doring. That's Doring's fourth as well. He'll check out. Corey O'Rourke quickly off the bench to check back in. So Doring is out scoreless with four fouls, and O'Rourke off the bench has two points and three fouls. Also checking back in for Carnegie Mellon, the 6'4 senior out of Plattsburgh, New York, John Wallaben. Wallaben checks in with seven first-half points. On the floor right now for Case. They've got the basketball. It's Brian Erse, Alex Hildebrandt, Skuski, Kevin Herring, and Reed Anderson. Hildebrandt with it between the circles. Left side to Kevin Herring. He's hit two threes this afternoon, all in the second half. Herring dribbled in against Jack Anderson, and Anderson pushed him and fouled him. Jack's going to pick up his fourth. So Carnegie Mellon with three players with four fouls. Jack Anderson, Terrence Bolden Johnson, and John During. Two starters and one the leading scorer. At the line shooting for Case will be Kevin Herring. Herring the sophomore out of the Wellington School in Columbus. First free throw is up and it is good. 
Kevin Herring with 14 points, averaging 13 on the season. Herring majoring in sociology, and he is in the pre-law program here at Case. Second free throw is up, and it is also good. 10-2 run for the Spartans. Spartans up four. They were down five at halftime. 11.30 left to play. Carnegie Mellon with the basketball. Swings it left side. Rob Pearson left corner, top of the key to O'Rourke. O'Rourke to the right baseline. It's Einwag. Shot up, and it's good. Ryan Einwag, he's got 22. He leads all scorers this afternoon. Case's lead is at two. It's 51-49. Erst the other way, right baseline. Pullback shot. Bader from about eight feet, and he made it. Brian Erst with 10, first two of the second half. O'Rourke with it for Carnegie Mellon the other way to Curtis. Right corner now to Einwag with Reed Anderson on him. In the block to Wallaben. Nice feed to a cutter, Rob Pearson, along the right baseline, and Pearson gets the layup. Rob Pearson with his first two, and Case still up two, 53-51. Spartans with the basketball. Spartans and the Tartans, University Athletic Association play. Right baseline, it's Reed Anderson working against the double team. Fakes left, goes right, shot off the glass, missed it. Pearson down with a rebound for Carnegie Mellon. Here come the Tartans, O'Rourke down to Einwag, left wing, ball above his head, back to O'Rourke. O'Rourke dribbles in, nice feed to Rob Pearson, and Rob Pearson has had two easy layups on the last two possessions. He's got four points. The total distance in the shots that he has selected from, Ed, is probably about 12 inches. A couple of quick passes, and then all of a sudden, Pearson found himself alone in the key on the baseline. Game's tied at 53, 10 minutes to play. 10 minutes left in this game, tied at 53. Erse, three in the air, left wing. Stepped by a screen from Reed Anderson and knocked down the three. Brian Erse with 13 points. Carnegie Mellon swings it left side to Elliot Curtis. Try to get it inside of Wallaben. Ball was tipped by Skuski. Herring controls, three on two break. Kicks it left side, Reed Anderson wide open three, it's short. You could tell it when it left his fingertips that that one was gonna be short and Case will turn it over. Went off the front of the rim and out of bounds. Flat-footed shot for Anderson. Almost no legs in that shot, Ron. Checking in for Carnegie Mellon off the bench, Matt Pettit. Pettit's in with four points. Rife's on the bench. Einwag's got it right wing. Left wing to work. Left corner now to Curtis. Back out between the circles. Einwag dribbles over. Kicks it right baseline to Wallabin. Wallabin double teamed, Skuski kicked it. Nice defense that time by Rob Skuski. <coughs> Unfortunately, ball hit his foot. So Carnegie Mellon will keep it, ball out under their own basket. 15 seconds to shoot, 15 on the shot clock, 9-13 on the game clock. Case is up three, it's 56-53. Lob pass into work to the right corner to Einwag. Now they get it inside to Wallabin. Wallabin in the key, ball's loose on the floor. Hildebrandt fighting with Urs, Urs comes up with it. Dribble control off to Herring. Herring on the break. Two on two. Kicks it to Anderson. Ball fake. Steps in. Left baseline. Fakes up a shot. Throws up another. Einwag blocked it. Hildebrandt came down with it. Put up a shot. And was fouled by Elliot Curtis. And so Hildebrand. Curtis is going to pick up his second foul. And Hildebrandt will shoot two from the line. You got it, Ed. Alex Hildebrandt back to the foul line where he is one of two on the afternoon. He'll get two more. And the first one is up, and it rolls around and drops. Two players check in for Case. It's Rob Skuski and Steve Young, or actually it's Eric Dewar for Rob Skuski, and Steve Young checks in for Reed Anderson. Second free throw by Alex Hildebrandt. Up, it's short. And down with a rebound for Carnegie Mellon is Matt Pettit. Pettit off to Elliott Curtis. Case is up four, it's 57-53. And a foul on Kevin Herring, defending Corey O'Rourke. Kevin Herring's third foul. And we've got a whistle and a timeout on the floor. Not many of those this afternoon. We'll take one. Case is up four, it's 57-53. 8.46 left to play in the men's game. You're listening to Spartans Basketball along the Case Broadcasting Network. Thank you. 
Rod Yon said Doherty along with you this afternoon for a doubleheader day today along the Case Broadcasting Network on the radio and along the internet. I'd like to thank all of our listeners, especially those along the internet. We're really happy and proud that we can bring you the service of Case basketball no matter where you're at in the world. Carnegie Mellon with the basketball, Case with a four point 57-53 lead. Einwag with it, working against Urs. Einwag, right of the lane, draws the defense, kicks it cross court to O'Rourke. He threw up a three from the left corner, missed it, and Brian Urs comes down with a rebound. Urs dribbling in front of that Case bench. Case in the brown and white uniforms of the Case Institute of Technology Rough Riders. Celebrating the past here on Throwback Weekend. Kevin Herring with it, top of the key, steps back, forces a three, and it goes. Wow. Kevin Herring has done nothing but make threes in the second half. He's got three threes in the second half. He's got 18 points on the afternoon. Case is up seven with seven minutes and 50 seconds to play. Pass inside to Matt Pettit. Missed a little bunny from about four feet. Dewar got the rebound off to Herring. Herring at the foul line, pulls back and he pushed. Yeah, that's a good call. Kevin dribbled in, pushed off of Corey O'Rourke, and he's going to draw Ed his fourth foul. And so Kevin Herring will have to sit down. If you're not here at the game this afternoon, you can't see that all the coaches are dressed in their suits and ties and dress pants, but with basketball shoes on. Ed, you want to explain? Well, this weekend throughout the NCAA, the men's basketball coaches from Division I down to Division III are uh, stomping out cancer. Coaches against cancer, they're wearing their tennis shoes in support of that cause. So the fellows look good in their sporty tennis shoes. Case with the basketball up seven, it's 60 to 53, seven minutes, 16 seconds left. Tom Summers has it in the lane, draws the defense, kicks it out to Steve Young, and Case is going to reset that offense. 15 seconds on the shot clock, 7 minutes, 2 seconds on the game clock. Colin Mulholland now in for Kevin Herring. Off the door, they hand it back off to Mulholland. Coach Sean McDonald wants a timeout. We'll take one, too. Case is up 7 with just inside 7 minutes to play. We'll be back on the Spartans Broadcasting Network. Coming into this game, Carnegie Mellon checks in 14 and three overall, four and two in University Athletic Association play. They're in a three-way tie for second place right now in the UAA. Wash U out of Missouri is a perfect six and zero. Oh. Case with the inbounds off to Colin Mulholland, long three in the air, went in, popped back out. O'Rourke comes down with a rebound. Corey O'Rourke down the floor against Doerr, and Eric is working with four fouls, or actually three fouls, and that will be his fourth. So Dora has four. Tom Summers has four. They're two big men. <coughs> Kevin Herring, their guard, has four. And at the line to shoot two will be Corey O'Rourke. First free throws up, and it is good. O'Rourke with three points, averaging seven on the season. He is a 66% free throw shooter, the senior from Marion, Pennsylvania. Second free throws up, it's short. Fighting for the rebound and coming up with it is Alex Hildebrand. Case is up six. 6.35 left to play. Alex Hildebrand in the game along with Erse and Summers and Colin Mulholland. An odd lineup in there right now for Case. Young with it and he traveled with the basketball. Faked right, faked left, faked back right and traveled with it. Case does not need turnovers right now, Ed. You know, you almost no. wonder if they're going to tighten up. You just you can't have the wasted opportunities down the floor. And so the Spartans had a seven-point lead with seven minutes to go. It's now at six with 6.15. Carnegie Mellon with the basketball. During 
to O'Rourke. Back to During, top of the key, three in the air. And John During just knocked it down. Leads at three for Case, 60 to 57. Young to a cutter, Summers in the lane against Pearson. Fake left, go right, soft hook, missed it. Pearson grabs the rebound. Carnegie Mellon the other way, O'Rourke with it. Swings it to During, another three in the air. This one's short, gets his own rebound though, puts it back up, short again. Pearson gets the follow. Pearson fights for it with Hildebrandt. And we've got, ooh. Summers and Pearson both went down in the heat. Both of them popped up looking at each other like two heavyweight fighters getting ready for the championship match. Now Rob Pearson wants a shake from Tom Summers. I don't think Tom saw him. The officials are going to sort this one out. There will be a foul on Case. Fouls on Tom Summers, and that is five. So Tom Summers is checked out with five. The freshman from Murraysville, Pennsylvania. And well, that's a tough call. It looked like both of them had the ball, and as they rolled over and went to the floor, the foul had to happen, what, Ron, before Summers tied the ball I up? I think it did. I think, it, I, think they actually, I think they blew the whistle before they tied the ball up. Both clubs are taking a little time right now because Case has got, I think, 30 seconds to replace Tom Summers. So both teams have gone to their respective benches, and Case is going to send their club back out. It's Doerr, it's Mulholland, it's Steve Young, it's Brian Erson, it's Alex Hildebrandt. So one thing that I have noticed about Tom Summers this basketball season, he, is, he will not back down. In the game um, a Sunday ago against NYU, he tied up with somebody and... Uh, a similar situation here where both players go to the floor and both of them staring at each other when they get up and it's not a bad thing to have for a, in the mindset of a freshman. Pearson misses the free throw. Case is up three. It's 60 to 57, 537 left to play. Mulholland with it off to Young. Young left wing to Erse. Erse with O'Rourke on him. Brian Erse, left-handed dribble, right-handed dribble now into the lane. Kicks it out to Colin Mulholland. Ten seconds to shoot. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Mulholland, nice speed to Kevin. Steve Young off the door. And up and over door is Ryan Einway. Case off the bench. They want a shooting foul. They want door to go to the line shooting two. Einwag, it will be a two-shot foul. Einwag went up in the air. And you mentioned it earlier in the game, Ed. When a player goes up in the air, full out, sold out up in the air, there are a lot of dangerous things that can happen. Well, especially down low because... The player that's on the floor, usually on the offensive end with the basketball, is bound to go up. So you're going up. Defensive player is coming down. So Doerr, who's at 6'8", got the ball underneath, put up a ball fake. Einwag at 6'5", went flying up and over Eric Doerr and did a flip and landed on his back. He's all right. He's still in the game. He picked up a foul. Doerr made one of two free throws, missed the second. Steve Young got the rebound. Stepped back for a three and nailed a big shot. And Case just stole it the other way. They're going to get the ball back. So Young's got seven points. Case is up seven at 64-57 with 5.08 left to play. So we are approaching the five-minute mark, and the Spartans hold a seven-point lead. They're doing it with a very unique lineup because they've got all sorts of people in foul trouble. Herring with it, ball above his head. They got a four wide right now. Erse, right wing, dribbles in, draws the defense out to Hildebrandt, right corner. 14 seconds to shoot, back to Herring. It's Hildebrandt, it's Herring, it's Erse, it's Doerr, and it's Young. Really, you got four guards out there along with Doerr. Herring traveled with the basketball, carried it up and over, went over the defense, and it's a turnover for Case. In the NBA, that's uh, what's called a nice move. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sean McDonald's telling the official that right now. He says, hey, I watched uh, the Cavs the other night. LeBron did that every time down the floor. So Carnegie Mellon will have the basketball. I guess Case the, with a seven-point lead. Depending on your status at Division One, you might get that opportunity to present the basketball. Jack Anderson throws it over to Corey O'Rourke. Brian Urse all over him. Right wing into Pearson, kicks it out to Anderson, left wing. Left corner now. Einwag with it, with Hildebrand on him. Three in the air. Boy, Ryan Einwag just hit a big shot with somebody in his face. Alex Hildebrand had great defense, <coughs> and Einwag knocked it down. He's got 25 points. Case is up four. It's 64 to 60. Four minutes left to play. 
Spartans are up and with the basketball. Brian Erst with it out near the timeline. Erst dribbles in, kicks it left side to Steve Young. Back to Erst. Erst with Jack Anderson on him. Well, there's Brian the matchup Erst. you want. An aggressive offensive player in Erst against Anderson with four fouls. They swing it. Alex Hildebrandt now with it. Top of the key. Left-handed dribble. Off the glass. And it rolls in. Off-balance shot around the big Rob Pearson. And Alex Hildebrandt with a big shot. Case up six, 66-60. Top of the key, it's Jack Anderson for Carnegie Mellon. Try to get it inside to Pearson, and Erst slapped the ball away. Hildebrand controlled, and now the, the Spartans can control the basketball game. Case is up six with three minutes and 20 seconds left to play, and they've got the basketball. They'll spread it out. They've got guys on every corner, and Hildebrand on the block. Erst with it out near the timeline, right in front of the scorer's table. Jack Anderson's on him. Erst dribbles in, shot off the glass, threw the foul, knew he had it, threw up a wild shot, doesn't matter, he's going to get two at the foul line. And Jack, and Jack Anderson. Anderson, go ahead, Ed. And his afternoon is over. That's five on Anderson, leading scorer for Carnegie Mellon, and we talked about it the last time down the floor, Ron, just, you know, the guys that are in foul trouble, you've been aggressive on the offensive end the entire game, so start attacking those players that have the foul trouble. Ed, you mentioned Jack Anderson averaging 15 points a game this season. Eight times this year he has led the team in scoring and he checks out with five fouls and only two points. His two points were free throws. He did not make a basket from the field this afternoon so Case did a great job defensively on him. Erse at the foul line. First free throw is up and it's good for Brian Erse. Second one will follow and this one is short and fighting for the rebound underneath was Hildebrandt and he's going to draw a foul. Both teams now in the double bonus. Three minutes to go in case with a seven-point lead. Urs has 14 points. Hildebrandt with <coughs> three fouls. They get four fouls. Now check that, three fouls. And at the line, as Ed said, in the double bonus is Carnegie Mellon. Shooting the free throws will be Shane Rife. First one's up, and it's good. Rife had five points in the first half, a three and a, uh, and a two, and this... That free throw is his first point of the second half. Second free throw is up. And this one is short. Ball's tipped. And Eric Doerr comes down with it. So Case is up six. We are now inside three minutes to play. Two minutes, 52 seconds and counting. Kevin Herring out near half court with the basketball for the Spartans. Top of the key now to Alex Hill or Erse. Now over to Alex Hildebrandt right wing. Hildebrandt to Steve Young. Turns around, throws a three up in the air. Missed it right side. Young went down, no foul was called. Here comes Carnegie Mellon. Case with a six-point lead. Right side, Einwag. He's been red hot. Three up in the air. It's short. Door comes down with a rebound. Door off to Steve Young. Hey, slow it down. Case will slow it down in the backcourt. 2.22 left on the game clock. Erst with it across half court with Einwag on him. Einwag will throw some defense on Brian Erst. Erst dribbles into the lane. Ball gets stripped. Ball's loose, and John Doring comes up with it. Case has got a lot of time on that shot clock. I'm not sure why they're pressing right there. During off to O'Rourke, right corner. Rob Pearson, right block against Doerr. Doerr's fouled out of the basketball game. Pearson knew it. Knew if he could get Doerr on the block and work him inside. Pearson missed the turnaround shot, but Eric Doerr has fouled out. He's got five. So the second player for Case is fouled out. Tom Summers is out. He was held scoreless, a starter for Case. And Eric Doerr... The other starter, averaging six points on the season, he is fouled out with 12 points. Time out on the floor. We'll take one, two. Rob Pearson will be back for Carnegie Mellon with two free throws. Case is up six with exactly two minutes to play. We'll be back on the Spartans Broadcasting Network. Ron Yon said, Doherty, here's the situation from a Delbert gym. Case is up six at 67-61. Two minutes are left to play. 
Carnegie Mellon with the basketball. They've got two free throws coming by Rob Pearson, <coughs> a 61% free throw shooter. A couple other notes for you, Ron. Both teams in the double bonus. So they'll shoot two regardless of the foul situation in case has the possession arrow for the final two minutes. Case has played great basketball all season long. They are two and four in UAA play, but boy, they could be five and one without much of a stretch of the imagination. They have played everybody in this conference, including the undefeated Washington Bears, toe to toe. Yeah, against Wash U, they were up 38-34 at halftime, and had it not been for a rebounding advantage of 25 to eight in the second half for the Bears, Case probably would have been very competitive in that game and had a possibility of winning it. So at the line, shooting two, coming out of the timeout is Rob Pearson. First shot's up hard off the back of the rim. No legs in that shot for Pearson. Just simply took the ball behind his head, Ron, and fired it up towards the rim. Pearson, a 61% free throw shooter, the senior out of Philadelphia. Second one's hard off the back of the rim. Ball is loose. Steve Young fights for it with Skuski and Rife, and Young comes up with it. So Pearson misses two huge free throws for Carnegie Mellon. 150 to play and 25 on the shot clock. Skuski with it with Pearson all over him and Rob Pearson's going to pick up a foul <coughs> a, a long way away from the basket. You got to wonder why he's giving a guy like Skuski so much pressure out past the three point line. Well Pearson only has two fouls. That's his third. And Carnegie Mellon to get back in the game is almost going to have to foul. So Skuski as we like to call him here at Adelbert Gymnasium. Makes his first free throw. He is three of five from the foul line this afternoon. He's got five points. Skuski, the very likable senior from West Yaga High School, makes the second. Case is up eight with a minute 45 to play. 69-61 Spartans. O'Rourke hands it off to Einweg. Top of the key to John During. Back to O'Rourke. Carnegie's working this clock like they've got the eight-point lead. 90 seconds left. During cross court pass to Einweg. Three in the air. Good. Timeout, Carnegie Mellon. 126 left to play. Case is up five as Einweg is now at 28 points. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back on the Spartans Broadcasting Network. We are back, one minute and 26 seconds left to play. Case is up five at 69-64. And the Spartans have the basketball. Ryan Einwag just hit a three. He's got 28 points. He is four of 10 from three-point land and 11 of 21 from the field. He has been Mr. Money this afternoon. He's the only player in double figures for Carnegie Mellon. Case has got Herring with 18, Urs with 14. Door with 12. Carnegie Mellon is out of their huddle. Case is ready to come out of theirs. Bolden Johnson, along with Reif, O'Rourke, Einwag, and Curtis on the floor right now for Carnegie Mellon. It's Steve Young, it's Brian Erst, Kevin Herring, Reed Anderson, and Alex Hildebrand. Full court pressure defense, Carnegie Mellon. And Anderson can't get it in, he calls another timeout. We'll take one too. We need it because we didn't have many up until this point. We'll be back on the Spartans Broadcasting Network.
Reed Anderson gets it into Alex Hildebrand who clears it to Brian Erson. Here we go. Minute 20 left to play. Case is up five. 25 on the shot clock. Minute 16 on the game clock. Anderson with it left wing with Einwag on him. Top of the key between the circles. It's Kevin Herring. Left hand dribble. Dribble between his legs in the lane. Shot up off the glass. A travel. They just called Kevin Herring for a travel. Turnover and a mon most unopportune team time for Case. Did they get him for steps, Ron, or was that another carry for Kevin Herring? I'm not sure. Minute seven left. Einwag with it. Top of the key. Left-hand dribble in the lane. Pulls up eight-footer. It's good. That kid's got 30. Carnegie Mellon calls another timeout. Case's lead is down to three. 59.6 seconds left. We'll take one more quick one. We'll be back on the Spartans Broadcasting Network. Fifty nine point six seconds left case will have the basketball out. They'll have to go the length of the floor. Carnegie Mellon comes out in full court pressure defense. Reed Anderson will inbound it for case. He gets it into Brian Urs. Urs with Rife on him. Now the Tartans relax that defense. We are inside a minute to play. Case was up sixty nine to sixty one moments ago. They had an eight point lead. That lead is down to three. Reed Anderson with it left wing. Far left wing whistle away from the ball. Again another foul against case. Foul against Case away from the ball. The last two possessions for the Spartans, they've turned the basketball over. One on a traveling and one on a foul away from the ball. So Carnegie Mellon, in a weird sort of event, uh, turn of events here, is going to get the basketball back. Another time out on the floor. We'll take another one. We'll be back with the final 45 seconds on the Spartans Broadcasting Network. And that would be Bryant's third. What it does, though, Ed, is it gives Carnegie Mellon the basketball, shooting two free throws. Right, but if it was on Bryant Erst, the score still hasn't updated that to the third foul on Bryant Erst. Maybe they're uncertain, too. It happened in such a flurry. We'll sort it out here in a second, though. We've got 45.1 seconds left. Case is up, 69-66. Carnegie Mellon's going to have the basketball. And they're going to have it side out because the, the foul, even though it was a double bonus situation. It's going to be on Steve Young. It's going to be foul. on Steve Young. So Carnegie Mellon with the basketball. O'Rourke's got it to Einwag. Einwag inside to Wallabin. Back to O'Rourke. Crossover dribble, right baseline, double teamed. Ball's loose. Ball's out of bounds. Off of Carnegie Mellon. And Case will get it. Young, Skuski, and Erz did a great job that time tying up O'Rourke along that right baseline. And Case is going to get the basketball back. So the defensive substitutions check out. The offensive players come back in. Colin Mulholland's back out with Skuski back out. Anderson's back in. Anderson with an inbound to Steve Young and reaching over and fouling is Elliot Curtis. And Steve Young will go to the foul line. 30 seconds on the clock. Young's at the foul line. He'll get two. One of two for Steve Young would push this to a two-possession game for the Spartans. Steve Young on the season, a 78% free throw shooter. He is two of two so far here this afternoon. 
And Spartans shooting 64% from the line. First one bounces off the rim and softly drops into the net. There was a huge <gasps> gasp here at the Delbert Gymnasium, and then it dropped. So Young with six points, averaging 12 on the season. Second free throw up, and this one does the same exact thing. Steve Young, a flair for the dramatic, he makes them both. Case is up five, 71-66. O'Rourke with the ball at half court, herring on him. O'Rourke dribbles in, left side, Skuski goes up. Shot went up, it went almost in, popped out. They're gonna call Skuski for the foul. O'Rourke will go to the line, he'll get two. It was almost a chance at a three-point play. <coughs> So Corey O'Rourke, who is one of three from the foul line this afternoon, a 66% free throw shooter on the season, will get two free throws. And the clock will stay frozen at 25.4 seconds left. Case is up five at 71-66. First free throw by O'Rourke is up, and he missed it. Pearson missed two. O'Rourke missed that one. These are huge misses late in the game, Ed. Well, and for Carnegie Mellon now, just 11 of 23 from the free throw line on the afternoon, 47% shooting. O'Rourke's second free throw up, and this one's good. So Corey O'Rourke has four points. Case has a four-point lead. And we've got a 25.4 time left on the game clock. 25 seconds. Foul away from the ball, O'Rourke fouled Kevin Herring before the ball was inbounded. That will send Case's top free throw shooter to the foul line. O'Rourke's gonna pick up foul number four. Kevin Herring's at the line, he'll shoot two. He's an 85% free throw shooter. Kevin Herring, front of the rim, back of the rim, and it drops. Herring's got 19 points. Timeout, Carnegie Mellon. Herring will shoot his second free throw in 30 seconds. We'll be back in 32. You're listening to Case Basketball on the Spartans Broadcasting Network. Ron Yance, Ed Doherty, along with you from Adelbert Gymnasium on Throwback Weekend here on the campus of Case Western Reserve University. And we've had a good one, a great one, and hopefully a happy moment for this Case men's basketball team because they need one. They have had a great season so far that uh, doesn't show up on the record books. They're 2-4 and four in conference play, uh, but they've played very well. They have been leading everybody at halftime, and by many on many occasions by double digits in the second half, but they have failed to close games out. And hopefully they can close this one out. They are up five with 25 seconds left to play. And they're at the foul line. Kevin Herring will shoot two free throws for Case. Herring an 85% free throw shooter. Spartans up 72-67, first shot's up and it's good. Actually, he made the first one before the timeout, so. Herring's got 20 points, Case is up six. So work with the basketball, hands it off to Einwag. Einwag gets a screen from right. Off to During. During pulls up 16-footer. Front of the rim, back of the rim, no. Erz fights for the rebound. Wulaban came up with it, put up a shot, missed it. Kevin Herring comes down with a loose ball. Herring down the floor, double teamed in the front court and fouled. So Kevin Herring's gonna go right back to the foul line and he'll shoot two more. And the game is all but on ice for the for the Spartans. Kevin Herring with a game high 20 points. First free throw is up and it is good. He's got 21. The Case bench is up on their feet. The Case women's team is <coughs> right next to the men's team on the bench up on their feet. They will play next and Herring makes them both. And this one's in the bag. 7.6 seconds left. Case is up eight. Here comes O'Rourke. Lost the basketball, Herring's got it. Three, two, one, buzzer, ball game. 
stand up and cheer. And they are here at Adelbert Gymnasium. The Case men have earned a hard fought, great game, and they have deserved a, a victory like that. that is